Hey, what's up guys? This is Tom from Chalk5. Welcome back to Arc Aberration. That's right, this is episode 7. Uh, now, last time we left off, I I think I'd, I'd showed you... Oh my god, my bubble is floating. Let me just get you. I don't know why my Guandron keeps standing like that, but whatever. Uh, and then my Parasol is doing it as well. <laughs> um, I've shown you how I was sort of working on my base, like the episode before. And as you can see, I've done a bit of... Uh, extra work to it. I've actually extended it out like one at the front and then I was already extending it out to the side and I thought whilst I was doing that I might as well just go ahead and put my bed up there. So I did this whole little like thing where I, I put my parasaur and like jumped up there on my oh, well, wrong side but you get the idea. So I put my bed up there anyway and I made like the walls and stuff so I could get it right up to the side and then, what else was I doing? Not a lot, really. I was I was just sort of, like, gathering a load of wood to make this base. It takes so much wood. And I'd sort of ventured over there to, like, that area behind that stego. Well, I thought in stego. Hmm, not bad. Um, yeah, over there-ish. And it was really cool. I'll have to, like... Oops. I'll have to, like, show you here in a bit. Oh, I've actually got a wall on me. Uh, so, oh, I've got three walls on me. All right. I didn't finish. <laughs> I, like, ran out of time. And I didn't finish, so there you go, it's a bit more done on camera. Um, and I might as well just put up like, some of my trash. Because I, I feel like exploring a bit this episode. And possibly taming a Stegosaurus, because I've been threatening it for a while, <laughs> and yet we've never done it. So, let me just put up all this thatch and stuff like that. Um, I can't remember if there's something else I was going to show. Oh yeah, I found some eggs, I found a Stegosaurus egg. Uh, well, that's an iguanodon egg. That laid an egg like as soon as I stopped the recording, I think. Or it might have been on video, I can't remember. Um, but I found that stego egg, and luckily I did not get attacked when uh, I picked it up, so that was good. Um, we need to use some more carry weight so you can keep holding all my, all my trash. Uh, oh, actually, got some spoiled meat. That's always good. We always need spoiled meat for the narcotics. And the good thing about that is now, like, I've moved my bed, so. These are a lot easier to access, because before the bed kept getting in the way. And it sort of cleared up this area, and I might possibly bake... Uh, how did you say bake? I might possibly make another pestle and mortar to put next to there. And then... Or even, like, possibly two or something, I don't know. And then we've got ones for, like, um, making gunpowder and stuff like that. Because that will be coming up really soon. Uh, I think I might have leveled up off-camera last time. Uh, it looks like I'm just about to level up as well. But... Oh, oh yeah, that was it. I've unlocked the crossbow. Let's make that real quick. And I don't think there's anything else. I'm not seeing anything else. No, let's make that real quick. Oh, it looks like it's going to be night time soon. Well, that's okay because we've got a bulb dog. So that's pretty good. Uh, do we have enough stuff? It looks like we've got next to... Oh, yeah, we have. Wow. I was going to say we've got next to nothing in the smithy, but... It only requires a little bit of wood and a little bit of fibre and uh, not that much metal actually, so that's, that's not bad. Wow, and that was it, we leveled up. Amazing. Right, let me put that to replace the bow and there we go. Poet and I didn't even know it. How you do? Right, I'm going to increase my melee damage because hopefully we'll do more damage with the, the crossbow anyway, but That'll help a bit. Oh, water jar! Nice! Let's make one of them as well. Oh, we might need cementing paste for that, though. Uh, oh, do I make that in my inventory? Uh, oh, I do. I do. I forgot that. Ooh, yeah, cementing paste. You need seven cementing paste. The crystals we've got are like right here. So we might as well throw all these up into the smithy. And I can throw that bow away. I'm not bothered. Um. Why? Yeah. Why am I doing that? Because I need them on me, don't I? There's only two on me. Uh, two crystal, five high. That's nothing. Although we don't have like any hide. I'm saying that like we've got loads. We don't have like any. I just need two of them. I'll throw them back up. Um, stack these as well. Okay. So cement base. We need chitin. Does anybody have any chitin? Uh, I'm not seeing any chitin. I don't know why you'd have any, but we might as well check. Um, in fact, we can get chitin from killing scorpions. I did see a scorpion 
nearby-ish. Hmm, that might be an idea. I wasn't sort of expecting to do this, but it'll be good if we can. Uh, let's give you another health. You're not that high level, so your health's not great. So we need to be real careful with that, unless you've got the chitin. No, I was pretty sure I killed a scorpion off camera last episode, but apparently not. Um, well, I'll take that anyway, you can keep the meat. Uh, and then we can put this spark powder, or we'll make some spark powder at least. And I might as well use that. Sport flesh. <laughs> Rotten flesh. <laughs> Thinking of Minecraft. Um, I might do a let's play in Minecraft. What do you guys think? Would that be fun? I've never killed the Ender Dragon. That's the only, like, trophy I need. Um, so if you guys would be interested in that, let me know. And I'll, 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 I might just do it anyway. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Right, you've only got that. Man, where's my chitin then? I could have sworn I had some chitin. It's not in here and I'm just being blind, am I? Oh, I am, I am. Ah, pff, man, okay. Um, but we haven't unlocked it yet. So that's the point. Need to unlock cementing paste. There we go. I don't know if this beaver's in aberration or not. In a way, I'm assuming not, but... Nah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so what do I need? I need... To make this, I need, like, loads of stone, don't I? Ooh, okay. Right, well, I'll just go mine some stone real quick, and then we'll make this, uh... What is it? Water jar. So, I'll see you guys here in a second. Okay, guys, I think we've got... Oh, man, I'm hungry now. Okay, I think we've got the cement and paste, and I'm making a bit extra anyway, so that's nothing to worry about. Uh, let's just put that metal up in here real quick. The reason I haven't built these walls back is because I actually need to, I need to, <laughs> if I can speak English, I need to demolish this uh, refining forge, and then build the walls back, and then put the, like, wooden walls or wooden windows back in. So, I haven't done that yet, just because, like, oh, I want to make sure I've got enough resources to make the refiner forge again, and then, um, obviously I need, all, like, a load of wood. I need so much wood. If we can find a critter that's good for getting wood, that would be pretty cool. And I, I don't know what would be on... What would be good at getting wood on arc? Um, aberration, I mean. I don't know, but that's, that's fantastic. We've just got a water bottle, and I was literally thirst, thirsty a second ago. So I might as well drink that, and we can keep it for now. Because if I get like a cooking pot or something here in a bit, then we can use it. But for right now, let's use the water jar. Awesome. So good. We don't got to worry about leaking out water anymore. Anymore. Right, okay. Um. Right, let's go and explore a bit then. Now that we've got all that done. I'll show you that area I was sort of talking about. Oh, it's gonna be dark. So <laughs> Although it might see, it might help us see like some critters, you know. I don't. I didn't see anything like hostile over here while I was here, and of course there were a lot more like mushrooms and stuff. Yeah, what level is that stego? Uh, there was one at level thirteen. Hmm. Yeah, there was a there was a better level one around here somewhere, but I don't know where. Pretty pleased that we got this crossbow though. That's really good. I forgot that we'd unlocked it. It's been a while, like... Ooh. How long has it been? It's probably been like a week since I played. Um, but... It's alright, because I've just done... I've just been recording, like, some other arc on the island. If you guys haven't seen that series, go check it out. Click the I in the top right-hand corner, and it should take you to it. But I was filming a bit of that. Yeah, but look how freaky this place is. It was here-ish where I was. Like, I didn't could dare come this far over because I'm literally seeing this for the first time with you guys, maybe. If you guys haven't played and you haven't been over it. Man, I can't... Oh, I got an idea. Oh! Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. Oh, man. I love these glow sticks. They're so good. Um... Did I? Oh, I just put it up. What is this Stego doing? Oh, no, you're going to fall off. No! Stego, no! I wanted to tame you. You're like level 34 male. Would be better if it was a female, just so we'd get the eggs, but I ain't complaining. 
can I can I do that on my back? Okay, how do I go back to Oh put that away. Yes, there we go, that's better. Now we've got like extra light and if the bulb dog runs out. Oh man, I so nearly fell down there, are you kidding me? Wow, that's so good, like throwing these. I'm not bothered because we got loads of crystals and stuff, so I am not phased. Uh, oh, wow. There's a whole like top layer and stuff up there. I wonder if you can go like right up to the top. That'd be insane. Probably not, but mm, we'll find out at some point, hopefully. Ah, uh, this looks like a dead end. <laughs> yep. Okay, well, that's probably it then, guys, because you probably have to like go down there. The only problem with that is. I don't see a way back up. So, we're going to need to tame like a Ravager or something soon. Because we're, we're kind of stuck. Like, we can't really go very far. And apparently Ravagers can like climb and do all kinds of like crazy stuff. So, a Ravager would be good. Look at this like weird stone structure. <laughs> I don't know. Obelisk or whatever you call it. Uh, ooh, let's take a go there. And female level one. Well, we could definitely tame that, but is there any point? I don't know. Probably not. Um, speaking of which, though, back here by the base, there was a stego that you've probably seen it in like the past couple of episodes because it's been stuck there for so long. I was kind of thinking, surely that'd be an easy tame, right? Like the only reason stegos are going to be difficult is because they can do like quite a bit of damage. And they, you know, they, they've got a good, a good hit radius, I suppose you call it. But yeah, there it is. There it is. Would you get over there? Got stones getting in the way. And we need to be really careful of this gas vein. And there's an Ovis there. That was there, like last episode or whatever. Huh? Level one. Hmm. We can't tame that though, because we need a sweet cake, vegetable sweet cake. But yeah, so what level are you? Le oh my god. Level 45 female. Oh wow, I, I might put my parasaur back at my base and then just come over here and try and tame this bad boy. Or bad girl. <laughs> oh, that sounds wrong. Um, Just try and like knock her out and tame her, yeah. And I can... Uh, I'll take like half of them. I'll be back for some more berries in a bit. But, and now that we've got the crossbow, oh yes, hopefully that, oh. I don't know if that does, like, more. Oh, I think that's night time. I don't know if that does, like, more torpidity or what, but can I? Oh, wait, what? Wait, did I just put that on me? That was R1 instead of... Oh, I was pressing like L2 before. Huh. I wonder what the difference is. Um, there we go. Throw that bad boy. Oh god, I threw a couple one. <laughs> uh, right, where, where's like a good vantage point? Like, I'd rather be up high, just in case, but hopefully it won't be able to move. I mean, if it, if it can attack us, I'm pretty sure we're going to die. In all honesty, like, let's just chuck some more around so I can see better. Right, okay. Okay, let's like stand here, so hopefully it'll go into the rock. There's no other stegos around, is there? But it's pitch black, I cannot see a thing. Well, let's try. Ready, guys? And go! Oh god, please don't come at me, please don't come at me. Okay, it looks like it's stuck. It looks like it's stuck. I don't want to hit too many in the head. Um. Oh, she might be trying to run away already, I doubt it. But let's just keep going. She's really stuck. She's not going anywhere. Oh, I thought she was like going to get knocked out then. Get a couple more in the head. It tends to do more torpor if it's in the head. Oh, I missed right there. Maybe hit the rock instead. That's why she might be turning around, but I doubt it. I would have thought it would take quite a few arrows to knock out a level 45. Like, seriously? It's going to take a while, right? Surely. Oh, wow. Okay, no, it didn't. It didn't take that long at all. Can I get my arrows back, please? Oh, there was that one light in the wall. Okay, wow. Oh my god, you guys. We've got a level 45 female Stego. If 
if nothing over like over here if nothing comes over here to kill it then we have got it can i get this arrow back really really oh fine okay whatever all uh, right i want to put my weapon away in case i actually didn't see in case i accidentally like hit it or something but yeah so what loves this parasol as well yeah uh, level seven Hmm, do you want to like knock this out as well? Just so we've got like a backup parasaur. Let's just try it, like... Oh, wow, one hit. Okay, well, you might as well then. <laughs> I was just kind of thinking, like, if anything did happen to our parasaur, we haven't got anything else to ride. Obviously, we need to be level 30 to make a saddle for the Iguanodon. But then that will become, like, possibly the main main mount. Oh, God, we've got an earthquake. We've got an earthquake, guys. Um... All right, what was I doing? I need berries. Berries, don't I? Okay, let's... Yeah, I thought you had quite a few berries on you. They, they should do, really. I doubt it'd take that much. But we need to be careful of this... Oh, cinnamon sticks! There we go. <laughs> I'm not going to do it as much as I did last episode. That was... Oh, uh, it was too much. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Losing my voice getting that raspy voice going on so let's just put some more in her inventory because she's more important and then before I forget why is oh man so many cinnamon sticks um before I forget let's put some in that parasol I don't want to I'm trying not to jump whilst this earthquake's on because I do not want to go flying like last time uh, and then there we go just put some in there Oh wow, she's going to get tamed really quick. And she's female, which is great. Because it means we can get some more... Um... Eggs. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> so, oh wow, that was it, that was it. Wow, guys, level 10 actually. That's, well, that's not too bad. Could be better, could be worse. So let's be grateful. You, let's, you come over here. Oh, and it's turning night, uh, daytime. <laughs> I'm getting all my words wrong. So that's good. And we can just leave you about there. Nice. There we go. That's pretty good. If uh, if I, like, die again, I'll... Well, when we get some more hide, I'll make another saddle for her as well. And then if I die, we can get another one of these, like, costumes and, like, put it on that one as well. And it just did a big poop. Fan diddle diddle tastic. Okay. Right, let's go check on this Stego. This is going to be amazing if we could tame this. Absolutely amazing. Because they're so good at getting berries. It's going to be a really high level. So, ah, uh, plus 22. Oh my god, it's going to be like, uh, what was it, level 45? It's going to be level 67. Is that right? It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be level 67. Provided that we don't lose any taming bonus. So... Uh, let's just see, actually. Yeah, what what level do we need to be for a Stego saddle? Come on. There we go. I wasn't like doing it. Stego. There we go. Stego saddle. Oh, my God. We only need to be level 15. Oh, no. Level 26. Oh, it's 15 Ingrams. 15 Ingrams. Um, okay. Well, that's fine. We just need a lot more hide. 200 hide. We, got, we can get the wood. Like, no bother. And fibers, nothing. We should have that back at the base. Let's just check the torpidity. Yeah, torpidity is like really high. Um, in fact, that'd be a good point. And get some mushrooms. Those narcotic mushrooms. Just, just like a, f a few. Doesn't mean we, don't, we probably won't even like need any to be quite honest. But um, we've got a few there. I might as well just take them. And I don't think anything else would like tame it faster that we can have right now. Obviously, vegetables when we can get those, but for right now, we're we're, la we're lacking resources. I need to do some off-camera work and just stock up on resources because man, we we really need some hide. Um, maybe when we've got the stego, if we change this back to normal arrows, maybe when we've got the stego, we can go and like kill stuff. Because we saw that that other Stego, like, destroyed that Ravager that time on a previous episode. So hopefully, like, 
it'll be able to save us and also do some really good damage. It is going to take a while to tame that. Maybe, what was that? Oh, my lights just come back on. <laughs> That's cool. I like how he makes that little, like, <laughs> just so you know he's, like, back. Uh, in fact, I thought I saw a scorpion around here. Uh, there's that explorer note. Uh, we should be really careful because it's still pretty dark. And scorpion will obviously knock us out. What is that? Oh, Dodicarus, Dodicarus. Hmm. Interesting. Level 13 male. Hmm. I'm sort of like, I'm, I'm feeling a taming spree coming on. And I'm not really sure if we should just tame like as many things as we can. Just because it makes us like safer as well. Do you guys want to do it? Do you guys want to tame a Dodicarus as well? It's going to be a while before we can ride him. I well, I mean, I, I think. I thought it would be a while for the Stego, but apparently not. Um, and they are pretty slow. Let's try it. Oh, man. <laughs> Probably should have got away a bit first. Oh, jeez. We're stuck there. Right, let's keep going. You need to be careful that he doesn't roll up into a ball. I thought he already did it then, but if we get him in the head, it should just, like, yeah, send his torpidity up higher before the damage creeps up. So let's just keep trying. Let's just keep trying. I don't know if he's going to attack me or not. It looks like he's going to get knocked out. Oh! It looks like he's running away, but... Ah, uh, it's hard to tell. Let's just keep hitting him. Keep doing some good torpor. Oh, and he's out! He is out! Nice! Oh my god, we're going to get a Dodicarus, guys. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, well, let's put some of these in your inventory as well. And just give you one of them for now. And Because I meant to give some of them to my uh, Stegosaurus... But here we go. Let's just run back over here. We really need to be really careful of this gas vein. I can't wait to like see what you do with them, but eh, we'll figure it out eventually. We'll find out eventually. Okay, so the taming's going up decently quick, I'd say. Um, just give you a couple of them. I could do it. Oh god, that was a bad idea. <laughs> we should have left some in because the taming goes down whenever you do that. But no, it's just just eaten, so that's fine. Uh, nine point six. Yeah, that's fine. What am I? I'm thirsty and hungry. Great. Let's just eat a load of meat. Okay. Um, now we've got some Miho berries. Let's go back to the Dodicarus. You know what I should have done? I should have put a glow stick down so I knew where he was. Let's do that. There we go. <laughs> now we know where they are. Because the, the glow sticks last for like ever. <laughs> Slight exaggeration. But no, they do last a long time. Oh, wow. He was hungry. Oh wow, he was really hungry. His team is going well quick. That's crazy. Normally it takes so long to tame a Dodicarus. It's, it's like, it's not even funny. Uh, but we might as well collect some berries and fiber and stuff like that. Just, uh, just so we can give him some food when he's tamed. Because at this rate, <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna run out of Mio berries. Can you hear him like munching away? Oh, whoa! We got him, you guys! Oh, wow! Uh, let me just give him all these berries then. <laughs> um, and what level is he? Level 19! Level 19 male, 1300 health, f nearly 400 stamina. That's pretty good. Food's pretty high. Oxygen, that doesn't really matter. Weight, 265. That's trash. Really, because he's going to be like collecting. Um, stone and like, obsidian. He's, they're really good for obsidian. And he's still eating. Wow, he was really hungry. Um, and then melee damage, 230. That's pretty good. Honestly, that's pretty good. His torpidity is well high as well for his level. So, come on. Let's go. Um, can you... Ah, he might as well break this rock, hasn't he, really? Oh, man, this is going to be so good for, like, making... Uh... There we go. There we go. Yes! How much stone did you just get from that? Oh, and he's got a level up already! Nice! Let's give him weight, because he'll need it. <gasps> 234 stone from, like, them three tiny rocks. Wow. Okay. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Follow me, Dodicarus fellow. 
I'm tempted to just make him like collect some rocks. Come on. Come on. He's pretty slow. Bless him. Right. Let's just make him hit another rock. Oh, wow. That's so good. Oh, he's a really cool colour as well. Oh, 309 stone. Wow. Maybe I should have made my house out of stone because this guy's going to collect stone so easily. Oh, wow. That's great. Um, and I'm hoping now that like he's going to be quite a good defender for the base. Just because them Ravagers, man, they, they destroyed us in the past. And, we, you know, we've got a Scorpion level 16. Not bad. The Moss Tops will just run away. The Parasaurs will try and do damage, but they're such a low level. Oh, in fact, that one's level 10. That one's... Oh, wow. I didn't realise our, our one was only level 11. That's crazy. Um, What should we do? Should we get, Stamina's pretty good. Health isn't great. We'll give it some more health. Um, can you come over here, Dodo Icarus? I can see you. Kind of hidden there. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's turning circles. Terrible. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. He's out. He's pretty speedy, though. For saying he's like a little tank. Alright, come on. And if he can stay there, I'd say... We've got a pretty good defense going on right now. Oh, wow. He's... Oh, wow. I didn't even know that was like a, a harvestable rock there. That is cr oh jeez! I can only carry like one of them at a time, and he's just carrying like four hundred rocks or something. Oh wow! We can make like all that cement paste now. We might as well do that, um, just for in the future, so we don't need to do it again. Oh my god! He's got so much stone, and I need to build this ramp back because it's really annoying when I can. I can't walk up there. Uh, let's just eat all this. <laughs> and put this spoiled meat up along with a few narca berries. Yeah, I made some arrows off camera as well, I think. That was a thing I did. And it's always handy because it's just, you're, you need so many arrows. You don't always get them all back, you see, that's the thing. Um, we need to be careful that our stego doesn't wake up. Uh, it should be fine for a minute. I think I'll just offload all the stone. And then we can go, like, check. But if I put, like, 200 stone up here, or how much i put up already, and then a little bit of lag there. Can I carry that? Oh, I can, like, barely move with all that stone on me. And that's only 175. He was carrying, like, 400-odd. Mental. I could put the rest in here and then, like... <laughs> I, was, I was, like, thinking too much fast. Um, yeah, look at the spark powder we've got. I can collect loads of, like, flint off camera. Make loads of spark powder. Potentially make loads of gunpowder ready for... Ready for when we... Make a gun, I guess, you'd say. Okay. Let's check on the Stegosaurus. And... Uh, about halfway tamed. That's pretty good. I might as well feed him, like, or her, all them. Let's just see how much by the, the narco, narcotics go up from that. Quite a bit, honestly. Torpidity went up quite a bit there, and it's still... No, it's just started to go down. I thought it was still going up at one point there, but it's still going down. Food's going down, so... Shouldn't take too long. I might... Uh, I can't tell how long this episode's going to be, but... It's about 30 minutes already. Let's... Let's like, have a wander up there. And... Has this parasol got a lot on it? Because I'm going to say, we could take the... Uh, let's take that. Let's take that. And let's put it on our new parasol. Give you some meat, just so... Like, it, it helps in case I ever eat all mine. And then it doesn't go off as fast in their inventory. Okay, nice. So this is our new parasaur. Leave a comment down below if you want to name any of these dinos or any of my other dinos. Oh, there's a moss chops here as well. Huh, what level are you? Uh, level 18 female. Play oh, rare mushroom, rare mushroom. Um, I could do that. <laughs> we might be able to tame it in like one food like last time. Um, can I get rare mushrooms? 
I don't know if these actually give you rare mushrooms or not. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, but we've got an absolute ton of rare mushrooms on our moss chops. Who is only level 19. So, this would be an insane tame. Because it would be quite a high level. Ah, uh, where's my parasol gone? Alright, let's go back to... Oh, oh, <laughs> stuck on the iguanodon. Uh, let's go back and see where this guy is. Oh, was, this a, was it a female? I missed it. There it, there it is. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? I don't remember. It is a female. Are you ready? Oh, one red mushroom! Craziness! Alright, so we just got to run another moss chops. Level 26, female. Honestly, not bad at all. Um, I don't I, mean, I don't know what we're going to do with these moss chops, but they're pretty good fridges for right now. <laughs> so, that's not too bad. Come with me, moss chops. And they will, like, harvest berries and stuff. If we made, like, an enclosure and just left them in it, they would, like, harvest stuff. Um, which I don't know if I'm going to do or not. Because we're taming a lot of dinos, it tends to, like, lag out the game a bit if... If I have a lot of tamed dinosaurs, like, walking around in one spot and stuff. Um, man, I keep getting stuck on these dinos, jeez. Right, you just stay there. I'll sort you out later. <laughs> Real quick, let's just check up on the Stego again. I don't want to lose it, because it's going to be such a good team. So, let's just have a look. And then I'm, I'm tempted to, like, go and have a bit of a wander up there. So, can we sneak in here? Yeah. Okay, taming, yes, yeah, 78%. And I think you just got a load of mushrooms, didn't you, sir? Take these narcotic mushrooms. Give it these. Because th th this is great with, like, this aberration. It's like, if I don't have to waste time making narcotics, I'm not going to bother. I'll just use these mushrooms. I don't know if that affects, like, the taming effectiveness or anything. I don't know if that's, like, a, you know, a con to using them, but... I doubt it. Let's see, there's a glow stick st still on over there. Right, well, that's pretty cool. Two, th three dinos will be tamed, hopefully, by the end of this episode. So far. And we just need to keep an eye out for, like, ravages. And, no, because we've tamed this parasaur as well. How many is that? Well, yeah, we've tamed three. And then the stego will actually be four. Wow. That's been quite the episode. Um, I can charge up my bulb dog. There we go. Nice. Keep the keep the light on. It is really handy because look how like shadowy it, it is up here. Uh, I thought there was something up there. All right, well, love this moss chops. Oh, female level twenty as well. Oh, giant bee honey there. Ooh, yeah, we don't have that. Um, it, I mean, it might be around here somewhere, but is that a dodicarus? It looks like one. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Level 36 mate. Well, that's decent. Um, now, there have been ravages up here in the past. What is that? Oh, God. I'm, oh, man. I keep thinking I'm seeing stuff, but I think it's just off this earthquake. Ah, uh, no. It must have just been the mushrooms. Uh, ooh, some gems and obsidian and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I thought there was some else over here, though, as well. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Cinnamon sticks. And a bit of flint, I thought. No, oh, no, it's just a bit of grass. Grass texture. Ooh! There's some more over there. There we go. Right, I'm not bothered about the wood and stuff. Let's just keep going. Otherwise, it's going to take ages. Oh, it's a guanid on there. There it is. Jeez. I knew I saw something. Uh, level 5? I don't think I'll bother. I think if it was a high level, yeah, definitely, but... Level 5, not too fast. Uh, in fact, maybe we should kill it. Maybe we should actually kill it, because I need the hide. So yeah, let's do that. And I've got the, the pike that we found a couple episodes ago. So let's do this. Oh man, look at it coming, look at it coming! What's like running away? Oh, wow! We killed it in like three hits! Wow, wow. Crazy. Getting a load of hide, too. That's really good. Right. 
I should say it started coming towards us and it just started running away and then boom he was dead. I guess that's why he was running away. <laughs> okay, just keep an eye out for any any dangers around. But I'm not really seeing him. I'm not really seeing anything to be honest. Got loads of trees up here though, that's pretty good. Uh, I might bring like my iguanodon, like my other parasaur. Oh yeah, that'd be really good. I can use them as like mules to carry loads of wood back to my base. That'd be really handy. Um, what's like this bit through here? Is this back to the beginning? Oh, it is. Oh, that's right. So that's like where we like first spawned in at the beginning, I believe. Oh, that's pretty handy to know. What is that? Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, wow. What is this, guys? Explorer note. Whoa. Wow. What is... Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Look at it. It's like a hologram. That's mental. Huh. Oh, Diana. Wow. I've never seen an Explorer note like that. That's crazy. Okay, well, we've got some good level ups from that. Oh, we got one. Ah, well, I'm not complaining. Get a bit of health. Uh, let's keep going. I should have got it on my Parasaur, actually, because then they get the bonus as well. Ooh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Um. Huh, I'm just wondering if there was like, anything over here I could kill. Possibly. Or tame, whilst we've got this uh, XP boost. Uh, Parasaur Ethereum over there. Uh, another Parasaur Ethereum. Is that a Parasaur there as well? Oh, where was it? Yeah, Parasaur level 5. Yeah, we can kill that. Might as well. Get some uh, get some more hide, get a bit of XP. Uh, in fact, I might shoot it quicker, probably. Get it in the head. Do some insane damage. There we go. And, oh, there we go. Nice. Sorry, Parasaur, but I need your hide. Okay, anything else around? Let's just be careful. Don't want to do it if there's any, like, dangerous critters around. Female level 26. Honestly, not bad. Uh, that's probably, like, one of the highest we've seen, actually. Um, but let's just kill it for now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's actually better than the one we've just tamed. But, oh, oh, it's running away, it's running away. Oh, I missed. I missed. Come on, come on, come on. I need the hide. No. No. I don't want to hit that Parasotherium. Oh, man. Tell my thing to follow me. Quick, follow me. Follow me. I'm in I'm in pursuit. Uh, oh, wow. It's, it's double back. It's double back. Shoot. The, oh, man. Damn. <laughs> I could tell him to go after it, I guess, but... Oh, man. I'm missing hardcore. Literally, like, one hit. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, I just put my crossbow up. I want to get my um, pike out. Oh, man, what is with my... The trouble I have with killing parasaurs. <laughs> the first episode of my arc was like this. Uh, I need to drink. <laughs> I really need to drink. There we go. Where's it gone, parasaur? Where is it? Go get it. <laughs> Hurry up about it as well. <laughs> We're running so far away. Man. And I can't get clear shot because you're in the way. Oh! Oh, I hit my own dino. No, the yellow's hit, uh, a ally hit or whatever it is. <laughs> Come on! Kill it! Kill it! There we go! Oh, my parasol got the, the kill. That's not too bad. I would prefer the XP, to be honest, but meh. It'll do. Alright, so that's pretty good that we know that then. So, ooh, there's another stego here. Uh, level 7 male. I thought I saw something up there, but maybe not. Uh, oh, there's a dodicorous thing up there. Roll rat right here as well. Uh, is that one of them plant things? Yeah, it is. Oh, raptor, raptor, raptor! Raptor, I think it is. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, he's in level 5. He's in level 5. Let me kill it. Let me kill it. Let me kill Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. The roll rat. Let me kill the roll rat. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. The roll rat. No. No. We lost the parasaur. No. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? This roll rat's level 22. It's going to kill me. It's going to kill me. Oh, my God. I'm dead. Oh, man. That damn roll rat. Man, what a piece of trash. Well, let's respawn at bed. Oh, that parasaur's got my... Oh, man. I guess I should have seen that level 26. <laughs> oh, man. Typical raptor to be there. Jeez. <laughs> and that whole like respawned up here as well. Nice. Okay. Um, well, I haven't got a saddle, so... Have we tamed that stego? Please tell me we have. Oh, we have! Nice! Nice. Oh, my God. Level 67. I, like, totally forgot. Um, I should bring my dodicras over here and break these rocks. <laughs> That's what we should do. Uh, for right now, though, I think I'll probably just grab my parasaur. Uh, I mean, yeah, I might as well grab the dodicus as well. Just be like, hey, you follow me. Ah, back to our original parasaur. <laughs> oh, well. Um, and then we can destroy these rocks, free the stego, and then I might just have it, like, follow me up there just to be, like, safe. Dodicus can stay here. But yeah, wow, this episode is going to be pretty long. Maybe I'll do it off camera, because I think this episode has probably gone on long enough. Uh, Dodicus, this way, please. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just free this Dego, and then I'll, I'll end the video, and I can just do that off camera. No big deal. Okay, Dodicus, do your thing. There we go. And you follow me. And everybody follow me. Nice. Hopefully the stake is free now. Yes, it is! Oh, wow. Look at this stego. And it's got them, like, mint plates on it and stuff. Wow. Great team. Great team. Sorry, I'd sort of, like... <laughs> I've moved away from the microphone because I was looking at the stego. Um, yeah, let's just, like, park those things here. Stego is not that slow, which is pretty, pretty handy-dandy. Uh, you can follow me, still. And then we'll go up there. Uh, Dodicris, come back over here, please. Oh my god, my... Oh, my boob dog! Oh, I totally forgot! Right, let me just pause the recording, guys, and then I will, um... I'll see you guys here in a second. And hopefully the boob dog is alive still. Oh! Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh... There's my death point. I'm just waiting for my parasaur. Come on. <laughs> um, my stamina kept running out whilst I was running over here, but... I'm... I'm not seeing my poor dog. There's a roll rat. There's a dead body. The raptor's dead body. This... Oh, gems. Alright. There's my body. Um... I'm not seeing my bulb dog. Uh, well, I've got everything from there. Oh, no! Oh, man! Oh, rest in peace! Oh, man, I thought I was the raptor! Oh, man. Oh, I love that bulb dog. It was such a mint colour. Oh, man, I'm gutted about that. Rest in peace, little bulb dog. Get rid of the body so we don't have to look at it anymore. And, oh, oh, man. Oh, oh. You died for no reason, Parasaur. What a shame. We were doing so well that episode. Oh. There we go. Might as well take the flesh, because, well, we just might as well. Uh, nothing else around here. Man, if I'd have just seen that raptor sooner. But, oh well. I guess I can ride back now, at least. So, I guess I'll end the video here, guys. And, um... Oh, man, it's kind of a bummer, but whatever. <laughs> we keep dying a lot in this series. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you again soon for some more Ark Aberration. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Oh,